It's uh, December the 17th, 2015. And I haven't made uh, a video for a few days now. I'm sorry about that. I've had company for the past few days. And so I haven't been making videos. But now I'm going to start turning out videos. In fact, I'm probably going to start turning out videos like never before. So good news. Uh, y'all about to get the news. All right. That's the good news. Uh, here's the bad news. I have something to share with y'all today. And I want to share this with y'all uh, because my theory has been evolving and developing. Uh, for the past few months now, and I'd like to get y'all's feedback, and I'd like to hear what y'all think out there, uh, you know what I'm saying, don't be afraid to leave a comment down there, and let me know what you think, I want to know, all right, but this is what I think, all right, because I've been seeing the past uh, couple weeks, few weeks, and of course, over the past uh, span of a few months, all right, um, what it looks like, this is what I'm going to call out right now, what it looks like, and I know I listen to a lot of people who say a lot of different things, but here's what it looks like to me, um, this is what's going to play out, we're going to get Hillary as a president, you guys, we're going to get her, I'm telling you right now, we're going to get her as a president, Either that or we might not, but either way, stuff's going to be real bad. Here's, here's what I think is going to happen. We're going to get a Hillary for a president, all right? And how this is going to happen, um, most likely, this is what I want to throw out there. I want us to simmer on this. We're going to get a Hillary, and what's going to happen is Donald Trump's going to take that diet like I said he's going to take that. And I know uh, the other day, Donald Trump went on Alex Jones, all right? And, and you might have heard me uh, broadcast, but that's pretty much it. She's done. She's done, son. The thing is, she better be done. But the thing is, also, I don't think that uh, anybody's going to realize uh, until about a little bit later. Uh, I think that's why she did it. I think that's why she had Donald Trump on it, because there's no way that Donald Trump could avoid it at that point. All right, so instead he went head in on it. He, he not only went head in on it, he, he went on Alex Jones and he started running his mouth. All right, uh, it looks like a frog mouth. All right, I don't trust him. Never, never did say I trust Donald Trump. But his thing, he went on Alex Jones. He started running that mouth. He started uh, talking that shit. He started going hard in the paint. All right, and, and, and then what I said was, dang, you know what? Hillary cannot afford an, uh, a Donald Trump going hard in the paint with Alex Jones. But at the same time, you gotta understand that just like the next day or the couple, couple of days after that, he started saying stuff about the First Amendment. He said, you know what, people are fools about the First Amendment, and uh, they're gonna have to get over that. All right, I like my Second Amendment, but not the First. And the thing is, you cannot have the First without the Second, or the Second without the First. That's how it works. All right, so he started going hard in the paint, and then he started talking about that magic. So here's the thing about it. It's, it's kind of canceling itself out. I still, I still see uh, the Donald, our boy Donald, I still see him taking the die. All right, uh, that's why I predict it's going to happen now and that. From what I've been hearing, other people speculate. Uh, you know, here, here's the thing. Y'all might be Bernie Sanders fans out there. Somewhere. Somewhere there might be some, somewhere. All right? Because I know because I've seen y'all out there. Thing is, uh, what you're not admitting to yourself is that he loves Hillary. He'll kiss Hillary's feet uh, in public, on television. He'll do that. All right? The thing is, he'll, he'll gladly take a VP spot, and Hillary will gladly go him out of a VP spot, uh, because then, you know what I'm saying? It's, why not? It's a, it's a win-win. He ain't going to do nothing to Hillary. He's already proved that he's not going to say a dang word to Hillary. All right? So. You've got a friend in me. You've got a friend in me When the road looks rough ahead And you're miles and miles from your nice warm bed So, so this is what's gonna happen. Uh, Hillary's gonna take over president, right? Uh, she's gonna have Bernie as the VP. Now Bernie's gonna cater to all those people who want these welfares and these free education. That's not such thing as a free education ever. There never has been, all right? It's not free. Someone's gonna pay for it. Guess who's gonna pay for it? The taxpayers, all right? All day. All day long. All right, and that's how it's going to go. And those taxpayers are going to pay carbon taxes. Pretty much, it's going to be taxes for breathing, for living and breathing. But anyways, they're going to pay for people to go to college just like Bernie wants them to, right? He's going to be uh, the vice president. He's going to be Hillary's right-hand man, all right? Not only that, if that scenario plays out, then that's what's going to happen. Obama, he does not want to let go of power. He never does. Uh, you gave him some muffin. He's got a muffin. He's got that butter and that jelly, all right? He's going to want uh, flapjacks next. All right, so he is going to take a seat on the UN. They are going to all push global global heating or global cooling or whatever it is that they're pushing. They're going to push. They're going to push it straight down your throat. All right, and they're going to shoot up your children. Is what's going to happen. That's what I'm telling you. Uh, you know what I'm saying? We're talking about a year from now. All right, and uh, you know that's the most clear cut situation that I can see happening. That's that's probably my favorite theory. And the thing is, if we think long and hard enough about that theory, then it will not come true. It will not come true. That's why, you know what I'm saying? I, I sent it out there. You, you can simmer on that, and uh, we can all pray that that does not come true. But not only that, we do have X factors. We do have a, and that is whether or not Obama is cool with Hillary. I think that, I mean, so a lot of people are caught up and think that Obama and Hillary are hating on each other because they're psychopaths and they're on uh, different psychopath themes. Right. But I think wouldn't it be even more dastardly if they did not hate on each other, if they loved each other, and them and the Bushes, they all had a love fest together. I mean, they're all pretty much related, am I right? All right, so, uh, I mean, there's a, a small, I would say a very slight chance, and a lot of intelligent people on the inside have been saying that there is a chance of this, but it's a very small chance that Obama and Hillary hate each other and they can't stand each other's existence and, and one of them will get the other one arrested. But on December 17th, I'm here to tell you that I do not think that that's going to happen. I think they're all in cahoots. They are in cahoots and they're in cahoots with Turkey and Turkey's fucking up. They're fucking up all day and, they, and uh, they're in cahoots with them. And then you know what? I think they, they might be in cahoots with Russia. And I know that's going to blow your mind, but I think that's what's happening. Uh, anyways, holler at me. Uh, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to go um, you know, research. I'm going to do some research for you and, and I'll holler at y'all later.